Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Revakar Kwadash. And double honors to the apostles of the great no stone, and as well as also giving the salutations they were towards the Yachim out here as well, that are furthering this truth. And um, Shalom to the brothers. And as well as the sisters too that are um, sincerely learning of Yahweh Shai. And um, it's the brother once again, Laban, coming at you with another video. And in this video, I just want to go over um, what Sadiq Khan mentioned, you know, which triggered me to, you know, do a video. And um, what I want to begin with speaking about is that you have, you know, so many different news articles surrounding, uh, you know, the heat which has reached across, you know, Europe. <clears throat> and I'm down here in the UK, um, I, be I believe right now, because, you know, I do feel the heat, you know, where I'm, where I'm at pretty much. And um, it's about pushing 40 uh, Celsius, which happens to be, um, if I'm correct, about 110 to 20 uh, Fahrenheit, degrees Fahrenheit, so like you so yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty hot out here. But um, <clears throat> basically, what I also, you know, want to draw to your attention is, is all of this ties into what um, Prince Charles was speaking about um, eight months ago at this uh, COP twenty six right um, climate summit of, of Glasgow, and I want to show you to the best of my ability. Through the spirit and power of you, how Bashmiel shine, you know, how all of this basically ties into this whole notion of climate change. <clears throat> because um they have to come with a, a greater because there's many reasons that they've that they've basically um you know created, but there's there's a greater reasoning, there's a greater cause as to why we have to formulate. A total new world system. And um, you know the greatest thing. That they talk about from time to time. Is is because of global warming. So being that it's so hot out here. <clears throat> we're at. <clears throat> especially in England. And um, different parts of Europe. It's proven that uh, you know these luminaries are right. So without further ado, what I want to do is I want to I want to um, go through this video and recording the truth as as to what's really um, going on. And um, because as I'm going to say before I move forward, we know that um, Esau um, has the power over a lot of things, and that even includes manipulating um, the weather as well. So I want I want to get into that too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read um, the first scripture, which is in Sirach 5 and verse 15. And it reads, be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or small. So, you know, in this truth, you're supposed to have your eyes open to all things. You're supposed to be aware of everything out here because, <clears throat> you know, there's a reason why it's so hot the way that it is. And, you know, as as I've watched um, the brother um, the elder brother uh, required come. He spoke about the um, the heat and why it's so hot. And basically, I'm going to say what he's saying. It's obviously whether it's done by purpose or not. Is this is all the doings of the heavenly Father Yahweh Bashmiel Shai? Ultimately, you know, as things are playing out, you know, men are manipulating um, certain things because they have the power to, and that's a fact. You know, like you have. A thing such as um, what is it called uh, geoengineering and they've been doing this since um, World War Two you know I mean what I what I find out is that a lot of things happened in World War Two and uh, <clears throat> you know certain things were, were were being done you know experiments were being done that's what I wanted to say experiments were being done also so I just want to um, you know read this and showing you brothers 
this right here. So it reads, um, geoengineering is um, earth science, the large scale manipulation of a specific process central to controlling earth's climate for the purpose of obtaining a specific benefit. Global climate is controlled by the amount of solar radiation received by earth and also by the fate of this energy within the earth system. That is how much is absorbed by the earth's surface and how much is reflected or re-radiated back into space. The reflectance of solar radiation is controlled by several mechanisms, including earth's surface, um, albedo, and uh, cloud coverage, and the presence in the atmosphere of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide. Um, if geoengineering proposal are to influence global climate in any meaningful way, they must intentionally alter the relative influence of one of these controlling mechanisms. Geoengineering proposals were first developed in the middle of the, the 20th century, relying on technologies developed during World War II. Such proposals were designed to alter weather systems in order to obtain more favorable climate conditions on a regional scale. One of the best known techniques is cloud seeding, a process that attempts to bring rain to parched farmland by dispersing particles of silver iodine or iodide or, or solid carbon dioxide into rain bearing clouds. And um, I don't need to read any more than that. So if they were doing this since the 1940s and manipulating the weather in this kind of um, case in a particular country, then, you know, how much more are they doing it right now? To suit their agenda. Right? And then you also have um, something else, such as, um, what is it, Operation Popeyes, which was during the Vietnam War from 67 to 72. And before I go here, I just want to read another scripture here. This is, um, what is it, Second Corinthians uh, chapter 2. I hate when it does that, man. I absolutely hate when it does that. The scripture is right there. I had it sitting right there. Then when I go and click, it goes somewhere else, man. I don't I don't understand it. But anyway, this is uh, 2 Corinthians 2 verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And that's the absolute. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. We know that Esau has power beyond now, am I saying to an overall degree? Of course not. Let me, I'm going to read this again. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And that's the absolute, because we know in the real world as we are, you know, we're men of reality. And in the reality, anything is capable of happening. And, and being that that's the case, we know that Esau has... A reasonable amount of power even so much so that he even has access to manipulate the weather for his suiting or for his agenda pretty much right but most people i mean if you really really speak um talk to the average person about what i'm telling you they would think that um you're crazy or you're a conspiracy you're, you're a conspiracy you're a conspiracy theorist which a lot of a lot of so-called conspiracy Theories came out to be conspiracy facts. I found reasonable amount of information to back what I'm saying. And I mean, as the scripture says, you have to prove all things. So, you know, I'm not going to just say, oh, it's just hop. It's just the um, the hop program. I mean, I have to go into it and speak about it. And even though <clears throat> certain brothers may know about this, but some brothers may not know about this. Some people that come across your channel, they may not really know what you're really talking about. So you got to go in into the history of things and, and actually go into the meaning of, of what that is and what this is. Just to go back to this particular video, which I'm not going to play the video because when you when you play Sky News or BBC News, certain media outlets, you know, you can get basically some sort of a strike on your channel and saying that it's copyright. But what I'll do is I'll put the link in the description box and you can check it out for yourself but i'm in one minute and 15 seconds i believe you know he said the word um climate change and it just prompted me to do to do this video 
Because like I said, it all ties in to them manipulating the weather, have you will, manipulating, you know, the, the way the earth operates so that they can then convey a message or better yet, a narrative to the public and saying, see, look, this is what we've been talking about. We've been talking about climate change. Prince Charles, record temperatures prove I'm right about climate change, right? <clears throat> because these people, these illuminaries, these witches and these warlocks, you know, they talk. But then they have to back what they're saying and they have powerful people in powerful positions that can actually fulfill what they're saying and, and, and bring it to pass. But in all reality, it's not a thing that they're predicting. It's a thing that they know that's going to come to pass because they're going to bring it. So, you know, again, it's it, it's it all has to do with this whole idea of global warming. And because of the earth globally is warming, warming up. We have to change things and we mitigate on the amount of carbon that is and, and bring bring it down to net zero, <clears throat> which involves. And I mean, in order for you to get all of it, all of what they're saying down to zero, you have to basically depopulate the planet to a great amount. <laughs> and that's a part of their one world system. That's a, that's one of the goals within their one world system is to is to depopulate as much people as, as they can off the face of the earth. You know, and that's why um, strains have been brought out and, and promoted to for you to inject in, into you, which is going to be propelling that. All right. So uh, as you know what I'm talking about, I did not say the word because I can get a strike on my, my channel. And, um, you know, I got to wait a week to use this channel again. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. But um, anyway, let's move forward. We're going to get the book of Job, the ninth chapter. Job 9 and 24, it says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked and he covered the faces of the judges thereof and if not where and who is he? So the earth is given into the to the hands of the wicked. And this is why Esau is able to observe and to, you know, gather intel and information and, and um, you know, finding how, how they can use the earth to their benefit, just like Solomon. The reason why Solomon was able to find out a lot of things dealing with how, you know, the earth is set up. It's because he was in that position to do it. He had the time and the place to do it. And as well as Esau has the power and the place to do it, to find out things that the average person would then to find out. That's why the scriptures also say that the, um, the children of this world are wiser than the children of light. And thou art become as wise as Daniel. Because Esau basically knows as much as what the Lord has revealed unto him on the face of the earth. And he's using that to his advantage. Okay, but um, it's only going to go so far with what they're doing. Eventually, um, everything that they're doing is basically going to backfire. And it's starting to happen right now. Like we're seeing bits bits and pieces of that happening right, right about now. You know, and that's why they're treading carefully. That's why they haven't really fulfilled the MOTB as of yet in bringing it out. Because they know if they do bring it out, then what? Then there's going to definitely be an opposite reaction to them bringing it out or other things leading up to the, the MOTB. Okay, and this is why they've been dragging their feet for so many years. <clears throat> okay, on their agendas. So anyway, let's let's um let me read this. I'll read this again, actually. Let me read this again. So it reads, um, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, we are not ignorant of his devices. And yeah, I want to look up this word devices in the Greek, which I believe it's Nuima or Naima. Strong's G, 3540, <coughs> Naima. Naima. Yeah, which means a mental perception, thought, an evil purpose that which thinks the mind, thoughts, or purposes. And, and this reminds me of the book of Psalms. I believe it's... Yeah, Psalm, Psalm 64, verse... Yeah, this is it right here. Yeah, we'll begin by reading um, Psalm 64, verse 1. Um, to the chief musician, a psalm of David. Hear my voice, O power, Yahweh, my prayer. 
Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. <coughs> Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrections of the workers of iniquity who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect, suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. And they encourage themselves, this is the point, they encourage themselves in an evil matter. And they commune of laying snares, and privately they say, who shall see them? Actually, this is more the point. Verse 6, and they search out iniquities, and they accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them. And the heart is deep. But the most I shall shoot at them with an arrow suddenly shall they be wounded. And that's really what they're doing. You know, they're up to no good in secret. And that's why uh, they don't want the average person to find out what they're really doing. And this is why they have their councils, their gatherings from time to time every year. Like the Bilderberger meeting always begins in the month of June. And you have other councils that are set up. Even down here in the UK, you have the house of, um, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, the house of Catham, you know, so you got a group of people that get together and they speak about um, certain things that they want to accomplish. All right. And um, and then you also have if measures have to be taken seriously, depending on, you know, the, the, uh, the degree of the situation. You know, you have your COBRA meetings, the people that are involved in government, they get together and they discuss matters and how to um, mitigate these measures that they basically have have um, started their own selves pretty much, you know. So. But the point is, the point is, like I said, just to get back, because I want to focus on the point is that they search out iniquities and that's what Esau is all about. They were all about searching iniquities and finding out ways and how they can basically make people's lives a living hell and how they can get their point across eventually getting what they want out of the face of the earth and controlling every single thing. But as it reads in verse seven, once again, but the most I shall shoot at them with an arrow and suddenly shall they be wounded. And that's what's going to happen. The nuclear missile is going to shut everything down, including their ideas and the new world order. All of that's going to be done for once those nukes are shot. Verse 8, And so shall they make their own tongues to fall upon themselves, and all that see them shall flee away. And all of these people that have came out from these councils have exposed what the real plan is. I mean, you can watch, you can go on, excuse me, you can go on um, outlets like um, Odyssey, outlets like Brighteon, and the likes and you can see videos of men that were behind the scenes and they come out and expose the doings or what the plans of the elite. And then you have books that have came out throughout the years. And I have one book that actually um, elaborates on what the, um, the the main purpose of, of the powers that be really want to do. And, and have, most of those things, I would say, are, have already been accomplished. So this is why they're really feeling themselves and they really believe and think that they're about to get this in the bag, basically. But as it reads in the book of Job 20, verse 4. Excuse me, I forgot to put the actual chapter itself. Yeah, Job 20 and verse 4. Knowing thou not this of old since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. So now let's go down because that's not the reverse. I mean, that's a good verse too, but that's not really what I wanted. Um, yeah, this is it right here. Yeah, this is it right here. Job 20 and 20. And surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly and he shall not save of that which he desired. And what's, what's the desire of these elitists? These cryptid individuals, this their desire is to is to set up a one world order where everything they have in measure, where everything that they have under their control, <clears throat> that's what they want. And global warming is the notion that they've came up with, and they're going to use that from time to time to 
as a reason as to why they're going to have to push the world in this kind of setting. So what I want to do is I'm going to look up the word um, quietness in the Hebrew. So the word, if I'm going to be pronouncing this correctly, would be uh, Shalawa. Let's see if I'm correct. Um, yeah, they have um, Shala. Let me see something real quick. Yeah, Shala, 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 or Shalawa, which means quiet at ease, which is which is um, quite similar to Shalawa. Yeah, so the word would have to be Shalawa or Shalawa. Which means peace, basically. So anyway, um, quiet, at ease, prosperous, at ease, quiet of land, quiet ease. So it just means what it means, basically. It just means um, at ease. So the New World Order is not going to go down at ease. There's going to be a lot of rumblings. There's going to be a lot of things going on. As they're moving towards the new world order, and it's going on right now because you have people that are that are that have been awakened to see, and they're exposing a lot of things that they're, they're putting out there, and it's just making things a little bit more difficult for them to, you know, move a little bit quicker, you know, with their agenda. <clears throat> Verse twenty-one, and there shall none of his means be left, and therefore shall no man look for his goods. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. And when he is about to fill his belly, the most I shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. So what? So right what? So right when they're about to put that juicy steak in their mouth, that's when this is going to happen. And he shall flee from the iron weapon and the bull still shall strike him through, meaning they're going to be destroyed. So when they believe and think that they're about to get this thing complete, 100%, that's when the Heavenly Father is going to basically bring forth that wrath and destroy his whole entire setting. And um, Jacob is going to be the next one in power. And this is why I have to read again. And on verse 8, verse 7, But the Mosai shall shoot at them with an arrow, and suddenly shall they be wounded. So there's two places that shows us that when Esau is done doing what they're doing and accomplishing their wickedness, that's when the Lord is going to deal with them. And it even tells you that in the Apocrypha, how the Lord deals with the nations of the world, where he'll basically uh, wait until they reach to the height of their sins. And then eventually he'll, he'll act on it. So that's what the Lord is doing with Esau. You know, the, the Heavenly Father is just waiting for that, that opportune time to release the Son of Man. To come and destroy this place. But um, that's going to be the time when I believe. They bring forth that MOTB implantable device. And make it mandatory. And that's when this is going to happen. I'm talking about verse 8. And as well as what's written in the book of Job. Um, 20 and verse 23 to verse 24. Okay. Because at the end of the day. Oh let me read this. It is drawn and it cometh out, out of the body. And yea, the glittering sword cometh out of his gall, and terrors are upon him. And that's that's those missiles coming out of those silos. So at the end of the deal, terrors will be upon these people. That is so dedicated in forwarding this world of total control of every soul on the face of the earth. And, and having access to all manner of information. So that they can exert themselves as gods. But um, that's never going to happen because the only people that are set forth and preordained to be gods will only be but the sons of God. And that's the children of Israel. That's what we got coming in line. So um, that's all I have to say in this lesson here. I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and His Son. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakak, Wadash. And um, what I want to do is I want to go back in reading about um, this right here because I don't just want to leave. I said I was going to come back to this. So I'm back to it. So it reads um, Operation Popeyes. 
uh, was a military cloud seeding project carried out by the U.S. Air Force during Vietnam War from 67 to 72. The highly classified program attempted to, ex to the extent the monsoon season over Pacific areas of the Hong Chang Ming Trail in order to disrupt North Vietnamese military supplies by softening road surfaces and causing landslides. So they've been doing this, man. They've been using, basically, um, they've been manipulating the weather, again, for their own agenda, for their own doings. And they've started doing this since um, nine, the 1940s, during the times of the Second World War. So if they were able to do it at the time, wouldn't they, wouldn't, wouldn't they apply that same sort of technique? Of course they're going to apply that same technique. And they're, gonna, and they're applying it on the people right now. Because allegedly, as I'm going to say, the term allegedly, um, the powers that be have already declared war against the people. But anyway, that's all I have to really say on that. I want to give all of the praises to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim Rukar Kwadash. And with that, I say Shalom.